Now, in years past, hundreds have gathered inside Kitty Hoynes for the annual St. Baldrick's Foundation's Shave event. This year, it looked different, but it was still just as moving. News Channel Line's Adrian Smith introduces us to the only shavey in person who's hoping it inspires others. Most 11-year-olds are thinking about what TikTok is trending or maybe what video game to play. But Anna Schroth has been laser-focused on something else, raising money and awareness for childhood cancer through the St. Baldrick's Foundation. Anna, you're a rock star. Kid. Inspired by her Aunt Beth and cousin Matt, who participated last year, Anna was chosen to be the one and only person to make the shave outside of Kitty Hoynes this year. I feel like I've waited forever, but now that it's finally gone, I'm like super happy. I know that I did it for a really good thing, and it'll be a lot easier in the mornings and taking showers. Not only did she have the courage to take off all her hair, but she's also one of St. Baldrick's 2021 top fundraisers, raising thousands of dollars for the organization. At 11 years old, it's emotional, you know, it's emotional to see an 11-year-old girl go after something like that and uh, just do a great job at it. So we're very proud of Anna. She's sort of our spokesman this year now. Remembering all the children that I'm helping and that hair will always grow back so it's not too big. If people are wanting to do it and you're thinking about turning back, maybe you could do it another year or you can just remember everyone that you could help, everyone that you could save. Being bold by going bald. In Syracuse, Adrian Smith, News Channel 9. And as of yesterday, Anna has become St. Baldrick's top 16th fundraiser this year. She's also donating her hair to Locks of Love. Very inspiring. Very inspiring.